a chilly day out there. My, my goodness. Oh. Okay, let's see here. Ooh, it's a bit chilly out there. We are in like the mid 50s, but the wind chill is putting us like 40. And for Charleston, South Carolina folk, this is just damn cold. Um, so with that said, let's start the video. Hello, hello, Crossroads witches and other interesting magical beings. Of course, I always say it and I always mean it. I'm so happy to be able to be here to be a content creator. It makes me feel good as giving back to my community. And I just watched one of our other community members that I've, I've followed her for years, and I have a lot of respect for her content. She does more of the what's in my head and talks about it. And sort of, for me personally, I'm, I'm, it's always uplifting to know I'm not alone, somebody else is doing that too. And that's what happened in this instance. So now that I'm like keeping y'all on the edge of your seats on who the hell am I talking about, read it in the de description. I'm talking about Miss Trish at Beanbag Hagwag. Beanbag Hagwag. I think I said that right, Trish. I'll put it down here so y'all find her channel. Please go find her channel, uh, her videos, subscribe, like, watch, all of that. Um, this is one of our community members who is out there doing her own thing, all right? And she is so amazing with allowing us to have a glimpse into her life. And her last video, she was addressing something that's been going around, uh, is the burnout, witchcraft and burnout. Do How is this happening? You hear people talk about, oh, I'm so burnt out. Um, is that a thing? Is it real? What is it about? That's all of it. And I watched her video and uh, of course I'm going to leave it in the link below so y'all can go for it. Like I said, please go subscribe to her channel. Uh, just a good wit with a good cackle. That's what I'm saying. If you can catch her cackling, you'll love her. But uh, this burnout, you know, uh, I think they did it as an unpopular opinion. And what her recent deal was is that she doesn't understand burnout. And that made me feel good because I don't understand burnout either, all right? So, like I said, I sat marinated, meditated, did a little walk about my farm, gathered my eggs yesterday, the whole time thinking about this. And, of course, my go-to is, I have notes, on what I thought about. And one thing that caught me that I, I thought about was, why do people come into our community, all right? And I think this is a lot like friendships, where uh, we people come into the community for a reason, all right? They are wanting to find a love spell, they're wanting to find prosperity, they're wanting to do something, and they think our community can give it to them. They are here for a reason. Once that reason is satisfied, they've left. And which is fine. That's what we're here for. The second thing is a season. All right? Where some things, you know, like friendships, relationships, are seasonal. Uh, uh, you know? And then again, that's okay. You know, you have these different times of your life and embrace them, explore them. They're going to add to you no matter where you are. Uh, I'm a firm believer, no knowledge is wasted knowledge, you know, uh, and, and so these people are, are here for a limited time and then they're moving on to something else, you know? And, and then there's this few of us, I think, that are here for the, the lifetime, the spirit. Our spirit is witchy. I'm ever not witchy. I'm never not doing magic. You know, uh, my life is is just, it's just, it is what it is, is how I feel, you know. Um, and that how folks 
uh, with this burnout, uh, my first thing that I left a comment to Trish on her her video was, "Is this folks that are that are out of balance? Have they just put so much and it's and it's not giving them the return?" They came into it for a reason. They didn't get the reason. They came into it for a season. They didn't feel like they should, they, they didn't want to leave, but they feel like they need to leave. You know, I have all these, and this is, you know, um, of course I want y'all's comments and thoughts on this one as well. And you content creators out there, uh, if, if, if I'm sparking some inspiration, if Trish, who also got it off of another video, I'm gonna have to trace this line. Because uh, I want to make sure I give credit where credit's due to folks. Uh, of witchy burnout. How are, what are your thoughts? How do you feel about this? You know, um, if you're coming in it to feed something, you're looking for an external to feed an internal, eventually it's not going to be enough, no matter what you choose. All right. True satisfaction comes from within. So, again, I had these thoughts. Is, is this what they're experiencing? You know, are, are you out of balance and, and, and really thinking it's going to be something and you're putting everything into it and you do it for three years, you do it for four, five, six, seven, ten years and you're done and you're just like, it's not happening. Is that witchy burnout or is that the end of a season? That's my question. All right. I am not acting like I got answers on this one. And then I also thought about personal expectations, the expectations we put on ourselves. Are you expecting yourself like to be out there every full moon, new moon, dark moon, Sabbat, all right, every feast day, everything? Are you trying to put that pagan calendar, that witchy calendar, that folk magic calendar full of stuff, all right? Because I'm thinking like, I know that grandma, she kept her church calendar limited, all right? Where she would be like, oh, I can't do that. Okay? She kept balance on it. She made sure the committees she could sign up for were committees that she could commit to. So, where's your calendar at? Are you overwhelming yourself? All right? And the other one was your expectation of all this. Do you, on yourself. Like, if you're not out there with your altar and full regalia, every full moon, yourself all done up. Do you feel like you're not doing it right? And you're burning yourself out on this unreasonable expectation you put on yourself because nobody puts on their Sunday best every Sunday, all right? You know, typically you do it for Easter's when you get your new dress, all right? Um, so are you doing expectations? Like this video, which is all right, ain't got no makeup. Y'all see, I got my, my, my hand mitts on. Like I said earlier, it's chilly here. All right, the hair is up because it needs to be washed. I got one of my comfy sweaters on, okay? I'm still a witch. I can still make content without all of that and still relate to y'all. Not every full moon is this, woo, let's dress it all up. Sometimes, honey, and it's just like, you know, like I said, some days I, I want to put all that makeup on. Put me some earrings, get me some lippy stick, have my hair all jacked up, looking hot, baby, looking hot. Other days, getting a brush through my hair is an accomplishment. And I'm allowed to have both. And so are you. I've had full moons where... Like, go stand on the front porch with a glass of wine and be like, I see you and you see me. Let us drink and call it an evening. That was it for me that night. It just won't there. Not every full moon do we feel like dancing around the bonfire. All right? And I wonder about that. Is that the end where you feel like you've got to keep performing, keep doing, keep these high, 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 you know, Goals that you're putting on yourself because the community, I, don't, I hope is it. Uh, and I had this other little, what was I watching? And oh, what is her name? She's the Wiccan um, Thorn Mooney did this little Tiki Talk talking about the fact that, you know, uh, when they always talk about advanced witchcraft and that advanced witchcraft is understanding 
You don't have to do it all the time. Give yourself a break. Your practice is within you. All right? Your altar that you have laid in the physical realm also exists in the astral realm. You can sit in a chair. All right? Meditate. Shift your energy. Find your astral altar. Decorate it. Full moon ritual. You know? And when we talk about doing magic, are we constantly doing magic? Am I constantly doing spells? The answer is yes and no. All right? My life is magical. It is one giant invocation, one giant incantation, one giant working. And I feed it daily. All right? And that's how I look at this. And as far as like doing workings, yes, periodically I'll be like, ooh, I got to do a little extra sparkly. All right? But my day-to-day -day life for me is magical. I'm mindful when I step through doors, you know, because your brain will fall out of your head. You lose memories. When people are like, oh, I forgot when I went in that room. Anytime you walk through a doorway, a liminal space, be mindful if your brain don't fall out of your head. All your thoughts, you'll be like, I forgot while I walked in this room. Um, could you shift to the liminal space? Any threshold will shift space. So, I do a little extra something, something, sprinkle a little extra Florida water uh, in my, my mop water. I'm constantly feeding it, all right? Uh, and not what, what you would be like, practicing. Am I practicing? No, I stopped practicing a long time ago. I just freaking do it. Okay, I don't consider what I do to be a practice. I consider it to be what makes my soul sing. All right, I love sitting up a little altar in the springtime of flowers that I've picked and taking it and sitting it out on one of my, you know, outdoor areas. And I will spend, you know, uh, 45 minutes, a half hour in the afternoon and, and just get all up into it and just leave it out for forest folk to appreciate. And that is my new moon. All right. There was no formal. There was no, oh, we have a ritual that starts at seven. All right. I, I spent a couple of days honoring that shift between the dark moon, that liminal space, uh, you know, potential and going into the new moon and feeding it in my day to day. When I stir my coffee, when I get up in the morning three times, you know, that's something I do without even thinking anymore. If you hand me a cup of coffee or tea in the morning, I'm gonna sit here and do the three stirs. Today's gonna be better than yesterday. Today it's gonna be an awesome day. Today is going to whatever I wanted to do according to my plans. But I put good intentions because I drink my good intentions and it's in me. And then I'm a walking, working. Makes sense? So I think my takeaway is I'm rambling this through on witchy burnout. And people that are experiencing it, reevaluate what makes your heart sing and do that. Reevaluate what makes your spirit and soul sing and do that. And don't worry about this bullshit of, oh, I've got to be a good witch. I have to do this and put all these expectations on yourself. All right. This is a journey, not a destination. This is living your life magically. And some days, like I said, we got all the makeup on. Our hair is done. And other days, our hair is in a bun. No makeup. And just so y'all know, I ain't got a bra on today, all right? That's what I'm talking. Some days, you be going out. You be putting on that special push em up you know, the push em up bra so you, the shirt looks good. And you get yourself just all jazzed up, all right? And it feels great. But if you do that over and over and over and over, it loses the special. You know? 
And putting that on yourself is freaking tiring. Dress up when it feels right. Wear sweats when it feels right. Hell, wear your pajama bottoms if that's how you're leaning. All right? This is when I, I, a lot of times people, you know, come up to me and you're like, do you, boo? And I'm like, yes, do you, boo? Do you know what that means? Do you really know what I'm saying to y'all? I'm saying to come inside yourselves. Listen to you. Tune into your spirit. All right? And when you do that, is that's when you dance around those bonfires and you just feel all the sparkle coming off of you, okay? But you don't get that every full moon. And that's how it is. You know, like I said, sometimes we get a fancy dinner. Sometimes we get Chinese takeout. And Chinese takeout is pretty good, isn't it? Y'all were like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, there are times I do. I mean, yeah, that's the same thing. Is looking at what's making you feel good. How is it uh, bringing into your life? Because your practice should energize you. Your practice should uplift you. Your practice should make you feel good about you. And the biggest mistake I see people putting on themselves is these unrealistic expectations of thinking that um, all the other witches are all dressed up and have everything on and they're always doing it all the time and, and everything. And it's easy because you get up on social media and you see these different pictures that these people are doing and it looks like they're constantly actively practicing. Um, there's a thing which is, I wanna clue you, I wanna tell y'all, fake action shots. Y'all know social media ain't real. And as Papa Nico tells us all, and y'all know what Papa Nico said, the internet's evil. Always remember that one too. What you're seeing a lot of times is not real. It's beautiful. It's inspirational. But it is not a realistic expectation to put on yourself. And I know it's hard. And I know I do it too. I'm sitting here talking like I'm sitting on top of the mountaintop and I don't fall for it. I do. I'll be looking at something like, damn, man. I'm getting slack, you know, <laughs> and then I'll start sitting there and I'll be like, put that shit down, Tara, you know, and then when I first came to South Carolina, I actually shot a little video talking about I'm discombobulated. I left California. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me, y'all. Give me one sec here. <coughs> mm, I need to give me a little water on this one. All right, y'all, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I had the refrigerator's right over there. It's great living in, this is our cute little apartment. It's 600 square feet. But let me open this, because I got some water on this one on the back of my throat. Mm. So we're talking unrealistic expectations that we put on ourselves can lead to burnout within our practice. Whoa, that's a big thing to say out loud, isn't it? Us, which is us, all right? And, you know, I know y'all see some of these gardening witches that have the most amazing gardens, and you're sitting there looking at that poor little pathetic rosemary that has three <laughs> limbs on it. And you're like, I'll never, I'm not doing it right. Um, not all of us are green thumbs, all right? Some of us berry plants where you just turn it upside down, put it in the ground and bury it, and you're like, let me end your misery. Everybody does their own thing. Some of us do stars. Some of us are in the kitchen. Some of us, like me, are in the graveyards. Some of us are in gardens. You know, uh, some, the, a lot of us are in some type of, with our personal, uh, our professional lives, excuse me, are in some type of public services. We're teachers, we're nurses, we're doctors, you know, we're healthcare workers. 
okay? Uh, you are in your life doing magic in all of these instances. And it's so important to recognize that the way you're doing it right now is the right way for you. It is valid. And like I said, if it uplifts you and makes you feel good, you're done. You did it. All right? You have reached the goalpost, you know? And don't put it any higher and don't compare yourself to others. That is the worst thing you can do. Y'all know this? All right, but sometimes we all gotta hear it out loud. Sometimes I have to hear it out loud. Where somebody will be and I'll be like, dang, I needed to hear that. Because yeah, I did know, but somewhere in the busy world of today, it got knocked way down here. And I needed somebody to come up and be like, uh, 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 put it back up there where it goes. All right? The most important person in the room is you. Never forget that witch. And with that said, I done rambled on what I thought about this. Like I said, I want to thank Trish um, so much. Miss Trish has got the best channel. I've watched her for several years. I think I've actually, she was one of the first, second people that when I started my own channel, I happened across one of her videos and I thought she was so inspirational, you know? And I was like, wow, she's talking about her personals out there, just sharing it with the world. And I was listening to her. It made me realize that I'm not alone. And that's a damn good feeling. And I want to thank you, Trish, for giving me and I know others uh, that sense of community and knowing that there's others like us out there with some unpopular opinions. Others out there wondering about it because we ain't getting it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And of course, with that said, I'm going to end this video. Uh, get out there, y'all. Have a bright, blessed, sparkly day. And I'm going to tell you to fly that broom. And as always, amen, bless be, ashe, and a bobo. Mm -hmm.